Welcome to iLecture Online and here is another topic in calculus called differentials. And let me tell you, when I first saw differentials, it made no sense at all to me. Now we'll look back and go, wow, they're so useful, they're so easy to use. But yes, when I first saw them, I had no clue what my teacher was talking about. So hopefully, I can be a little bit different here. And after you see my, some of my examples, it'll make perfect sense to you. At least I can hope for a little bit of sense. So let's try this. Here's an example of a, a good problem. It says that we have a cube, which is one inch on each side, and you're supposed to paint it, and the paint is going to be 0.0, .0 inches thick. Use differentials to determine the volume of the paint. All right, so you say, well, how can differentials help you do that? So let me draw something for you that may make it a little bit easier to understand. So let's say we have a cube. I'm not very artistic, but I can draw things with straight lines. So that kind of looks like a cube. All right, so we have a one inch by one inch by one inch. Let's see here, one inch deep. There we go. Now imagine we're going to paint this cube. So that would increase the volume of the cube by just a little bit, right? So we're going to put a little layer of paint on top of this cube and on the side of the cube and so forth. So you can imagine that the cube is going to be covered with a little bit more paint, making the vo total volume of the paint just a little bit bigger. So let's come up with an equation that describes the volume of the cube and the volume of the cube is equal to, if we call each side equal to x, we can say that would then be equal to x cubed. Let's now take the derivative of the volume. And so if we take the derivative of volume with respect to x, we can then say that dv dx is equal to 3x squared. And now I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by dx. So we can say dv is equal to 3x squared dx. Now here comes the interesting part. If we leave it like this, if we leave it as a differential, or I should say derivative, that's not, if we leave it as a derivative, this shows that the change of the volume with respect to x is equal to this. So I can indicate how fast the volume is changing. But if I now move the dx over here, and the dv and the dx by themselves are called differentials, then for a given value of x, if I change the x by a little bit, I can now calculate how much the v changes, how much the volume changes. So if I plug in 1 inch for x and 0 0.001 inches for the change in x, so I make the x a little bit bigger by using some paint, then I can figure out how much v changes. So dv when x is equal to 1 and dx is equal to 0 0.01. Now we got to think about that just for a moment. Should I use 0 0.01 for x? Because notice that if I paint it on the top and the bottom, the left and the right side, and the front and the back side, then x really doesn't change by 0 0.01. It actually changes by 0 0.02, right? Because we have one inch plus 0 0.001, 0 0.001, oh, actually not 0 0.001, it's 0 0.01, so 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and 1. Actually, my dx then changes by 0 0.02. That makes sense? All right, I hope it does to you. So when the dv changes at the point when x is equal to 1, and I change x by as much as 0 0.02 because it's on both sides of the cube, that should then equal to 3 times 0, oh no, x is 1, 3 times 1 squared, times the dx, which is 0 0.02. All right, if I work that out now, this is equal to 3 times 1, or 3, times 0 0.02, or this is equal to 0 0.06. So that means if I put a layer of paint on the cube, on the top and on the bottom, so that the x changes by 0 0.01 on top, 0 0.01 on top, I put it on the left and the right, I put it on the front and the back, then the amount of volume change is equal to this, which then represents the total volume of the paint. So therefore, the volume of the paint is equal to 0 0.06 inches cubed. 
since the units we're working with were inches. And see how easy it is to figure something like that out? The other way we could do it, using algebra, we could simply try to figure out the size of this uh, rectangular shape paint and do it on top, the bottom, the front, the back, the left and the right, add them all up, and we should get the same answer. But with differentials, it's pretty slick. All right, let me try to come up with a few more examples so this really makes some sense to you.